Hey folks, Dino here again. This time taking a look at the much anticipated demoniacal fit tenacious martial artist, otherwise known as Ultra Instinct Goku. <laughs> so yeah, the um, minute this became available, I just had to have it. So yeah, let's just get into this, shall we? Let's take a look at the box. So standard demoniacal fit box. They've copied the SDCC sort of colouring as per usual. We've got Demonical Fit 2020. I love the fact that they've got a trademark, even though like clearly these aren't official. <laughs> but yeah, they um, obviously named Tenacio Tenacious Tenacious Martial Artist. Um obviously due to the fact that they can't call him Goku. So yeah. Even I could fit logo, ages 15 and up, and some pictures on the back. So, obviously, let's be honest, this figure is basically one big up yours to Tamashi on behalf of Demon Echo Fit because not only have they made an exclusive readily available, they've also threw in even more accessories. To make it an even bigger deal. <laughs> so yeah. And you'll see. It comes with a Super Saiyan Blue hair sculpt. A new Jiren face. And doesn't show you on the box. But you get. That base. With it. Um, for less than half of the price of the official figure. <laughs> well. The aftermarket prices anyway. Um. But even so, this still ends up cheaper than uh, <laughs> what the official figure was at release. So yeah, um, much appreciated, Demon Echo Fit. Or Possessed Horse, or whatever you're calling yourselves. Um, actually, there's nothing on this box about Possessed Horse. So I'm actually beginning to wonder if the face sculpts are made by a different part of the same company? I'm not sure. Um, they're all called Demoniacal Fit, but yeah. Anyway, let's get this guy, put him slightly to the side, and take a look at his many, 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 many accessories, shall we? <laughs> so, first off, let's get him off the stand, have a quick look at this. Um, very well printed. I think this is actually a copy of the stands that they give away at conventions. Uh, I do recall seeing them selling one with the exclusive colour Kid Goku. So yeah, um, it's really high quality. Much higher quality than any of the usual fake stands that you get. So props to them there. Um, no scratches that I can see. The print work on it is fine. There's nothing cheap about it. The arms and everything are all tight. Um, nothing I can see that would break, like easily. And I quite like this sort of uh, thing that they usually put on. Was it one six scale figures? So yeah, appreciate that. Let's get rid of the stand. So, obviously, he comes with alternate head, which is Super Saiyan Blue head sculpt. Now, it looks quite blue on camera, but it's more of a turquoise colour. Like, actually closer to the anime colours. Hold on, and I'll bring the official Broly movie in. Yeah, so as you can see, this one is brighter. And outside of the camera, this is actually more of a turquoise colour. So it's more anime accurate, whereas this is more Broly movie accurate. So yeah. Quite like that. It's not identical. Strangely enough, it's made of translucent plastic. They've just painted. So, I don't know what they've done that for. It's quite
quite soft plastic, so it's not as if it hinders it any. But yeah, you get four faces with the Super Saiyan Blue head sculpt. You get the normal stern face. Like so. These are all really well done, by the way, just so you know. You get the smirking face. You get teeth gritted face. I actually noticed there's a slight mark on that one. That should just rub off. Yeah, it's already rubbing off. Um, and the all out yelling face. So yeah. I'll do some comparisons, um, some head swaps and stuff at the end, because that Super Saiyan Blue head does fit on pretty much every Goku figure. <laughs> um, so yeah. In terms of faces for his Ultra Instinct form, you get the same as the event exclusive. You've got standard stern face. Teeth gritted face. Yelling face. And the one I've got on him just now is sort of meditation face or trying to tap into his new powers. I like that face the most, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, you also get sets of hands. So he's got a pair of fists. He also has his standard martial arts pose hands, which have been in every Goku figure ever. You get some Kamehameha grippy hands. And you get a pair of Key Blast Splayed Open Hands. So yeah. Um, you also get a bonus accessory. A completely unique Jiren head. Which I don't believe Tamashi have actually made. <laughs> um, this is obviously from when Goku really startled Jiren and forced him to go into his full power form. Um, really well done. Um, can't see any issues with it whatsoever. Not sure if it's just obviously this is bootleg. I don't have the real Jiren because I refused to fork out the cash for something that could easily break. But yeah colour difference that is a bit of a difference. This is more grey, whereas this is kind of purple. Don't know if that's the same on the official figure. But yeah, you'll be happy to know it does indeed fit the bootleg. Uh, that actually looks quite funny. <laughs> he looks quite angry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, appreciated nonetheless. Demon Eichel fit really went out of their way. Just to say, <laughs> Tamashi, you can get the same quality for like half the price. So yeah. Finally, let's get into the main event, shall we? So yeah, let's Ultra Instinct sign or Ultra Instinct Goku um, before we master it. Obviously, I don't have the official one of this figure to compare, unfortunately. Um, but I can tell you the major difference is there's not as much shading on the pants and his hair is a bit more glossy on this one than it is on the real. But I think that just adds to the figure, to be completely honest with you. Um, I do have a slight tolerance issue with the legs, the kind of loosey-goosey, shall we say. Um, he stands up quite fine, but you can tell they're not quite as tight as I'd like them to be. Um, I don't know if that's just on my figure. In fact, I think it might actually be, because I watched one of the, I think, Brazilian YouTubers. One of them got a copy early, and their figure seemed really tight. So yeah, don't know if it's just tolerance. As per usual. Um, but yeah, the the quality in this guy is just incredible. Everybody else is really tight. Like his knees, 
are completely fine. His waist, nice and tight. Same with that. His head, his arms. Yeah, everything... Everything's fine with him, really. There's nothing at all to complain about. But yeah, in terms of articulation... Um, oh, in fact, we shall do a quick comparison with the mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, because a lot of this body was taken from that. And as you can see, yeah, a bit more shading here on this figure as well. But the arms are the same. This bottom piece is the same. This one's maybe a little bit shinier. But then I'm comparing an official figure of a different type, <laughs> basically, to a clone of a different forum. So, yeah, there's only really so much you can compare, isn't there? Yeah, articulation time, because this video is going to end up like 20 minutes long. <laughs> um, his head can go down that much, up quite a bit. Get side to side, swivel, nice and tight. His arms can go out that far. Can swivel all the way up. Nice and tight joints you can hear there. Um, swivel there. The bicep. Arm goes further than 90. Standard joint at the hand. And he's got a butterfly joint, which doesn't do that much to help. But it helps a little. So... If it's functional, it's functional. He's got the standard pull-out chest articulation. Doesn't go that far forward, though, unfortunately. Goes back really well, though. <laughs> His waist swivels. And in terms of legs, goes out really far. Double jointed knees. These are kind of painted funny, I've just noticed. Um, not quite the right shade. And this knee, just got the standard thing on it. But works just fine. The feet, standard ball joint. You get a nice toe pivot and ankle rocker. And I realise I said that out of order, but hey -oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, as I said earlier, you'll be happy to know this guy, his neck peg works with pretty much every Goku figure ever. So this is the one that came with him, Super Saiyan Blue Head. Pops on nicely, and all of a sudden you've got Super Saiyan Blue Goku from the Tournament of Power. So yeah, quite like that. You'll also be happy to know that this head also fits other Goku bodies. Fits other Goku bodies. There we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can have Battle Damage Goku, if you don't have the Broly movie, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, you can just get the Saiyan Raised on Earth one and pop this head on it, works just fine. As for this body, quite a lot fits on him too, there's the standard Goku head, so you can have him after he's fought Majin Buu. Works really well there. And the best thing about this body is... Well, I 
footed about with this head. <laughs> you will see what I'm doing in a second. It is actually the perfect body mould. For Goku at the end of the Boo Saga. When he's throwing the spirit bomb in Majin Boo. <laughs> so yeah, just quickly put that together. With a smirking face. And that is probably the closest you will ever come to a Boo Saga Goku from that scene. <laughs> so yeah, really really love that. In fact, I might actually get a second Super Saiyan headset and that body just so that I can recreate that scene. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So, yeah, in conclusion, guys, um, do I even need to say it? Of course this figure is recommended. Um, it's... <laughs> It's basically a clone of one of the most sought-after exclusives Tamashii's ever made. Um, and like I said earlier, it's basically Demon Eichel fit telling Tamashii that it's not on. <laughs> um, if they pull that sound sort of stunt again, I'm guessing Demon Eichel fit will step in again. So yeah, um, definitely 100 million percent recommend this figure. Um, show Demon Eichel fit some love for this one guys because he's basically saved the line in my opinion <laughs> that might be going a bit far but yeah um, until next time guys I shall see y'all later <laughs>